Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Real back with another motherfucking review, man. Yo, check this out. This is Power Book Four Force Season One, Episode Six. All right, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I can't lie to you, man. It's looking shaky in these streets for Tommy. Like, and not in the sense of like in fear for like his life or things going bad for him. Cause it's it's a, it's a down spurt. It was, but um no, in, in in the sense of I don't know if this show gonna be around. It's not making no sense. It's not popping like I wanted it to. Like Yeah, there's bodies dropping, but it feels like arbitrarily at this moment. And there's so much confusion. I don't have I got more questions than answers. Like and the fact that we had episode six, something should be getting revealed, like, soon. Like, something's got to bring me back. Because, A, so they lose two people. They massacred 30 Serbians, right? And they lose two soldiers that signed up ready to get into some gangster shit. So Gerard saw to you about E, and Vic saw to you about his mans. Fair enough. But they all signed up. Matter of fact, y'all convinced them. The people that's dead, y'all convinced to roll with you to get this job done. And <coughs> oh, excuse me. Then we're gonna bust it down three ways, 33%. But now, y'all lost somebody. Tommy didn't. Tommy could have lost his life. He went in there solo. It wasn't like he played the back of the scene either. But they decided, hey, we don't need Tommy. Let's get him up out of there. Which I was proposing in the beginning. I said you should have asked for a larger percentage. And you wouldn't even kick them out. Okay. Tommy felt the way, but then he didn't. He said, all right, fuck it. Because he know what he had. He had the good drugs that he that they didn't know nothing about that he was sitting on. Right? And they paid him out. So now he up 300K, 300 plus K. He got those, those keys off, overpriced them because they fucked him over. At least Diamond paid over, you know, paid 38 to just be like, yeah, we know you, we fucked you. So, yeah, we'll take it off your hands. And then, so now the Serbian spot is, I don't see Vic with no soldiers out there moving no drugs. Is Vic a 50-50 partner with Diamond? I don't think so. Now it just looks like CBI got 100% of the Serbian pipe. The little, the, 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 the trade, the area. But they so pussy. That they disbanded the group and now saving 10% to pay this man whenever he arrives to come take his shit back. They got the money to be like, no, 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 no. We was just kind of holding it down while y'all was going. We don't know who shot the shit out you. No, but we saw, we heard, we know. So we decided just move some drugs there. But before you go to war with us, here go 10%. Thank you for letting us use your territory until you get until you came to claim it. I appreciate you. So CBI looking real soft in these streets. I don't understand. It was a prime way for them three to link up and stay on that keeping the Serbs out shit. Like maybe then they had to team up with another like family, like the Italians or something. Or since Vic is involved, now his father got to get involved, and now it's them against the Serbians, and now they now things is looking more fruit. It could have been so many things. But they lose two people, get pussy, disband the disband the little trio, the little group, and now saving money for when the Serbians come back for their shit. And I mean, do we think that the Serbians is gonna be like, yeah, we lost thirty people. Oh, you was hustling and gave us to thank you. We that's not uh weird. That's not like maybe you had something to do with it. No, that's not suspicious. That of all people. Anybody that could have took this over, it was you. And you had money ready for me because you knew I was bringing that smoke. So CBI looking pussy in the street. I'm sorry. I don't. Why is the large Southside gang the only black one just moving like some just it's just some soft shit. It's some soft shit. And you got Gerard, right? We still don't got an answer as to if he was trying to kill Tommy or... Um, save Liliana. We don't know. We still don't know. We know that he paid Tommy's half brother, son, estranged son. God damn, that's 
That's a whole messy. I don't. His a strange son to watch him. Five K to babysit him because dude said, "Hey, give me another five and I'll go pop this nigga for you." So Gerard asked Liliana to kill Tommy. If he tried to do it himself and missed, why would he lose the opportunity now that Diamond and Tommy not fucking with each other on a business level at least? And Diamond still owes this nigga Tommy. Like, Diamond ain't shit. So, okay. Now, you just pay the man his other half of the money and let him pop Tommy in the head. What are you watching? I don't know what the fuck Gerard is doing. I'm confused. I thought this, I thought I was going to find some type of answer, something. I got nothing. And I ain't going to lie, it's pissing me off. It's not making sense. It's not making sense at all. Then you got Diamond out here. Fam, first off, I don't know if it's his ego, but I'm going to whole time say Diamond knows something up with Shorty. What's her name? Nikki, Vicky, Bobby, Ricky and Mike. I don't know. What was her name? Ronnie. I don't... Okay. So some little bad woman, little, little, little fine ass woman is sitting at your table in your booth of all the places facing your picture. Right. But that's fine. It's not your booth. Really. I, I was confused about that conversation. Nigga, how do you have a booth? But yeah, it was kind of weird that she's the one sitting right there and she looked the way she looked. And she giving you play. And she sharing potatoes with you off her plate with her fork. Like, where was COVID? How do you not know this man got cooties or not? Like, y'all just sharing forks and she giving a lot of energy and he's being real weird. Does he think that he just that fine or that? And he ain't talk. We ain't seen him talk to a woman since he's been out of jail 15 years. So his game is speaking of that of which he ain't got none. So this don't feel set up ish to you? Like I knew from the I I had no doubt in my mind from the minute that she was talking to that man and entertaining with these weak ass. Okay, yeah, let's get to know each other all of a sudden. And now we smashing at night. Like you don't see you too important. You run a giant drug organization. You run the South Side of Chicago. And you don't think that this could be a setup just this random woman giving you all this energy smashing no rubber first night like that's all nasty it's nasty diamond then she say oh i gotta go i gotta get to work i gotta meet somebody about work yeah I, he got to know if he don't know i'm done with diamond completely like i'm so done with diamond if ghost knew that angela put that fucking like screen cover thing on there if he knew that his phone was being ghosted and he was all the way in another room but he just knew that his phone was there so maybe i shouldn't fuck with it angela had it too long if ghost knew that the least diamond can know is that some chick you smash in the same night you met her that is leaving to do some work shit with a work partner in the middle of the night are you a whore he didn't even ask no questions he said oh, okay cool You ain't even going to question beyond that? I don't know. I don't know and I don't like it. I'm so confused. Who is she now? Does she work for Smush Face, the detective? They just keep, they keep throwing too much at me and they ain't answered the questions that they started already. There's still questions out there. Okay, so fuck it. Tommy takes it on the chin, though. He like, fuck it. They pay me. Cool. Liliana's still on board. He keep trying, and, and Tommy keep trying to get rid of Liliana every chance. I don't know what he can't understand about her not trying to go nowhere. She's with you, bro. Like, this is it. This is your partner, nigga. This is your ghost. So deal with it. This is your lady ghost. This is your Tasha that, um, you know, that you not fucking. Like, this is your lady partner. I don't know what to tell you. So, okay. So he's finally, I hope. I hope has accepted her so we can stop every episode saying, Liliana, you should get out of this and do, you could do something. You could be a singer. I don't know what the fuck is he. Like, I don't know what life he thinks she got. And as dumb as she is, what could she, this is all she knows. I'm, I'm, I'm sold. Okay. God, this, 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 this pissing me off. It's pissing me off. I'm just so upset. And then, and as expected, Gloria calls up, um, not Gloria. 
Jesus. Claudia. Claudia calls up Tommy. They need to, why would they have them girls' names that close together? Don't they know I do reviews? Where is the consideration? Where is the consideration? Separate these names. So Claudia calls up Tommy to help disappear the body. Claudia takes it fine. She has a dig a ditch. Okay. So her and Tommy have a, you know, it's, it's always bonding over dead bodies in power. Kane and and um, Tariq and, you know, anytime you catch a body in power with somebody, they yo ace boom coon. Like, that's how relationships get started in power. You know, you got to murder somebody together. Some sick shit. I don't know why we can't just have a couple beers and be like, damn, you know what? You really good dude. Like, okay, let's, you know, let's build this relationship healthy. No, let's go straight to killing somebody together. Niggas, you with me? I don't even know you, but you my nigga for life if you catch this body with me. Like, that's okay. So, they, he do that for her. Now, um, Tommy comes up with this plan to, A, put on the worst suit I've ever seen in my life. I was so, I kept looking at, I couldn't even, I honestly don't even know what happened that whole scene when they were scoping out the convention center. For lockers, I couldn't pay attention to nothing but Tommy suit. This nigga looked like he got into it with, like, I don't know, like, Edward Scissorhands or some shit. Like, Johnny Depp was like, you know how you had to, he fucking up them bushes, boom, boom, boom. And then he turned to Tommy and this suit was, like, he just, he had slits here, had slits in the back. I'm like, nigga, did Freddy Krueger visit you? Did you take a nap in the car and this nigga sliced you? I didn't understand that suit. That's the first time I ever seen it. And then, then he had to, don't put no smut on ghost name. Don't you do that. He gonna tell, he gonna tell Claudia like, yeah, you know, my old business partner used to dress like this. You know, he used to keep those tailor fitted suits like that. Nah, he didn't. No, he didn't. Not like that. Ghost knew how to dress. Ghost put on proper suits. Two piece, three piece. He had the right. Shirt to go with it, the right tie. The nigga was well put together. Never in his life did he have an undone underarm to the back. I don't know what the fuck that was. I was like, wait. Because it was like an illusion. I just kept like, is that his vest? Or is his shirt, does his suit jacket start here? And this is a vest? And then I'm like, that's weird. This nigga like Jeffrey, like the butler. Like when he had the little penguin tail. But then I turned to the back. I was like, no, that's a full jacket. But then the slits on the back. Is this where this nigga keep his katana swords? Like, who is he? Is he a fucking vigilante? But anyway, hated that suit. So Tommy uses white privilege to just, you know, get around undetected, as he should. Use what works for you. So he managed to, um, Liliana managed to drop, to approach all these powerful people. My, like that, okay. Liliana has been just approaching distros with no problem. She walks right into the auto shop doing suspicious shit and handing over phones with instructions and keys and little little packages and not answering nobody's question. And she, and she just rolls up on people, no problem. Like, nobody got a problem. Nobody's like, hey, let me pat you down, nothing. They just got their hand tucked. Then Liliana approaches the Jewish gentleman. Boom. Oh, no problem. Let me give you some energy. Yeah, I'll take this from you. Okay, now these people are complying out of curiosity, sure. So out of their curiosity, like I said, they're complying. And now it's like, okay, um, let me follow these random instructions. This Maybe this is a setup. How do I not know this girl's an undercover cop? What if I open this and it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But they was too willing to do it. So that didn't make sense to me either. I, and they're getting random instructions from a plug from a phone, and they just following it blindly. Like, clearly you see me, but I don't know who you are, but I'm willing to do business with you. Okay. They get it back to their prospective places. Um, Latina Shorty and her homeboy get high. They meet Jesus. Right? They in the cosmos with it. They say, hell yeah, I'm in. I want whatever this is. It's a black powdery substance. It scares me how, like, people are so willing to like i don't i'm scared to take like the vita like not vitamins like advils and shit like i don't want i don't like i don't like and the, you can't give me no black powdery substance and expect me to just ingest it like it, it's just scary what people are willing to do but whatever so tommy don't have 
the it's not the three amigos no more, right? It's not it's no more Vic Diamond and Tommy. Tommy went tripping. He got this black powdery weird substance, Dolly, I think it's called. And he decided, well, if I can't use the Serbian pipeline, I'll just be the plug. I'll just, you know, find distros and then supply them and have them sell it, and then we're good. So Tommy is essentially doing Claudia's job for her, but they 50-50 partners because Claudia has the idea, had the the chemist, but she don't know shit, which is why now I see why Walter don't want her in charge. Because, A, you fucking with Tommy. You were supposed to sell this to Tommy. Somehow you end up not selling it to Tommy. You took him in as a partner. You let him introduce you. You introduced him to your chemist. You gave him everything he needs to not need you anymore. Walter would never. Walter, you might as well put Paulie in charge when you kick the bucket. Both of your kids. I was with I was with Claudia for a minute. I'm like, yeah, she should take charge. But she's fucking stupid. And he might have jumped the gun, like, you know that scene where Claudia walked in with Walt. And he couldn't figure out the password. And he like, that's why you're not in charge. Because you ain't here. Fucking feds is here. Even though she handled business. I was like, damn, that's kind of rough. But as I think about her business acronym. And how she just drops bodies and leave them there. I'm with Walter. I'm not with how he got to that conclusion. But I agree with him. If that makes sense. I don't agree how he got, you know, but I'm with him on. Yeah. So, Tommy, what the fuck does Tommy need her for? That, I don't know. And then they kidnap the poor chemist. And she's like, yeah. And conveniently, this lab was paid for in cash. Good. It's free range. You could do all the chemistry you want. You ain't got no lease on it. Like, what building are we in? You don't pay no property taxes? What the fuck you mean this is in, like, What? This clean ass lab room with all this shit. Nothing's got a serial number. Like, nope. This is an untraceable lab room. Like, I'm so I'm I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all this episode. It's stressing me out. I just get I you know, and I'll be like, this is I guess this is the beauty of power. This is what keeps me coming. Sometimes they hit and then sometimes they do one of these where I'm just like, the fuck? Okay, and real quick, Vic tells, I guess he stands up to his father and say, Gloria's coming to family dinner. Oh, big stands, big man. Like, that's going to go, like, that's going to go well. Like, stop it. We know how this is going to end. It's going to be your father disrespecting the shit out your woman in front of you, and then you not doing nothing about it. But, I, and Gloria just, I don't know. And in the whole scene with the son following Tommy finds out, oh, he know my father. No, take your five thousand back. I don't want nothing to do with this. I gotta get out of here. I'm not I don't even know. I'm not gonna And then the brother wanna be down. I understand that part. That's about the only part that made sense. He like, bro, I'm broke. I don't want no handout. Put me in the game. Let me work with you. Tommy's being responsible, saying no. I don't want to fuck up family. That's how family fucks up when they go into business together. So I respect both ends. That's the only thing that made sense in this entire fucking series. Give me your hot takes. What's my hot take? I don't know shit. I'm so confused. I don't have a hot take. Who won this episode? Who gives a shit? I, I like, like I, I threw the towel in with this one. I ain't going to lie to you. I hope they bring me back next episode. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But you know how I go, man. Protect your health, yourself, your wealth, man. Your boy Real is out of here. Peace.